Thanks for watching Afternoon Live. It's the ultimate fall recipe using all the best flavors. Here to share her Hasselbeck sweet potatoes with maple allspice butter. We welcome back professional caterer, Allison Tucker. Yum. Thank you. Oh my you. gosh. How's it going? I can't wait. I know. That sounds it's amazing. So good. There's something about the food this time of year. Yeah. It's just hitting all the right spots. It's time for all the cozy stuff. Agree. Okay. Agree. So the first thing that I'm going to do is make the maple allspice butter, Yummy. which is really the key to this whole recipe. I have, we're going to make four, I mean, this is a recipe for four sweet potatoes. Okay. And so I'm going to start with four tablespoons of butter melted in a nice pan. Do you go unsalted? I always go unsalted because it's what I always have. Yeah. I like to control the amount of salt. You can salt. always add salt. You can always add okay. salt. And I, you know, it's that's a sort of classic chef yeah. thing. Um, to this butter, I'm going to add two tablespoons of maple syrup. Yum. Yum. The good stuff, right? The good stuff. Gotta be the good stuff. Absolutely. And then I have one, ta one teaspoon of salt and a and a half a teaspoon of black pepper. Okay. So it's got a little heat. Yummy. And nice, nice salt, sweet. I was gonna say that sounds perfect and with the maple syrup. Exactly. Okay. And then I have one teaspoon of allspice. Okay. Allspice is not all spices. Right. It is a. It is a from a berry, a dried berry, and it is a seasoning. It's a spice that tastes like the combination of cloves, nutmeg, right. pepper, and cinnamon. So they call it allspice, but it contains just one. Some spice. <laughs> well, it contains the flavor <laughs> of spices, but only one sure. spice. It makes so me think of just everything ground. warm, right? It just like, it's the perfect, it's the perfect cheat yeah. for, you know, having a ton of ingredients. There you it go. It just knocks it out of the park Amazing. immediately. So that's, that is the butter. Okay. Now we have made the butter. Okay. And now is the time, as with all great Thanksgiving recipes, that we turn to chopsticks. Okay. <laughs> what? Makes sense. Um, and we are going to use these chopsticks as a guide. Okay. I think okay. I've seen this, but yeah. I've never done it. It's a pretty, I've, I've kind of pre, pre done this a little yeah. bit for you because the last thing we want to do is. <laughs> Try have something tragedy. new with a sharp knife <laughs> on live television. <laughs> live television. <laughs> um, so what you're going to do is you want to cut. You put, this is a garnet sweet potato okay. or a garnet yam. We could get into what oh, makes it a yam yeah. and what makes it a sweet potato. Another but we'll time. both yeah. just, yeah. Uh, I love these because they're red and red is beautiful. It's so bright. And it's so bright. It's yeah. so beautiful when it's cooked. It's beautiful every every way you slice it. I mean, oh, <laughs> look, look at you go. <laughs> so you are going to make, you're going to hold it in some chopsticks. Okay. It, on an angle, I mean, on the sort of part of the sweet potato where it stands well. Uh -huh. You can also level it off at the bottom. No one will oh, see I the see. bottom. You can sure. just make it flat. Okay. And then you hold it with the chopsticks. And the chopsticks make sure that you don't go down too far. There you go. So you're not going all the way down accidentally through to the bottom. Yeah. And you're cutting slices that are about an eighth of an inch thick, okay. wide. Uh, and now you're done there. Easy. Okay. okay. So easy. Then you're going to take, um, you have an oven that's preheated to 400 degrees. Okay. You're going to take a brush. Oh, yes. Okay. And then you are brushing the tops and sort of in the middle. We're going to hit this twice. Okay. Okay. So right now it's not as important to get it in there. I Sometimes see. the when you first cut the sweet potato, you can't get in there. Is right. it's still kind of tight? Yeah. Um, she needs some time to relax. She needs some time Loosen to relax. Loosen up a bit. I hear that. Okay. And so we are going to put this. We're going to put the sweet potatoes into the oven for 30 minutes. Okay. Okay. Then we take them out of the oven, and now she's a little more relaxed. Okay. So she's really now we're going to get in there to receive some butter. Okay. In. Amazing. All of this. There so we go. We're going to do that. And then she goes back into the oven for another 15 minutes. Okay. 
and oh, then look at that. This always looks so impressive, I think, so as a dish. Beautiful, don't yeah. you think? And now he, this is so this is completely Oh yummy. And I fanned it out a tiny bit, which you can do with a with a fork. Yeah. I of course don't have a Let's fork. Let's see if here. we have one. Because this sorry, is I forgot. Got a television topics, though. kitchen. Oh, oh chopsticks. <laughs> <laughs> that would be good. That would be good. All right, let's. Oh, Just it's in case. so tender. Yeah. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. Nice, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just like such a, such a nice. I don't think I've had that kind of like a maple -y yeah. allspice on a sweet potato. And because by and itself, a, it's so yummy. And uh, exactly, but uh, with a little bit of heat from the pepper mm -hmm. and the salt from the salt mm. and. I think it's a really nice side, and it's also a really beautiful thing it's so to impressive. add to the table. And it's not overly sweet. I think right, all I the agree. spice with the maple, it really yeah. balances itself yeah. out. Yeah. Yummy. Yay. Thank you so much. Absolutely. It's my pleasure. Happy cozy Happy. cooking season. Yes. Okay, we'll have this recipe and more about Allison on our website at katu.com. We'll be right back with more Afternoon Live right after this.